welcome. In this module, we will learn how to create tables with sort and distribution keys in it. So here is the create table statement to create a table named sales with the column sales ID, list ID, seller ID and buyer ID. And you can see at the end, we have written dist key of list ID and sort key of list ID and seller ID. So we are directing the Redshift cluster to distribute the data of sales table across all the nodes and its slices based on the list ID. And we are asking the Redshift cluster to sort the table and store it based on list ID and seller ID. By default, the sort style in Redshift is compound sort key. Compound sort key is first it will sort on list ID and then it will sort on seller ID within the group of each list ID as we discussed in our previous sessions. Now, here I am to create a table and distribute the data across all the nodes. As we discussed in our previous session, the data will be distributed and split into the first slice of each node when we select the distribution style as all. Here at the end of the create table statement, you can see that dist style all and sort key as list ID. In a similar fashion, we can evenly create and distribute the data across all the nodes using dist style even. Now by this we have covered distribution style based on key in the first example, all in the second example and even in the third example. Now we will see how to explicitly mention whether it is a compound sort key or interleaved short sort key. Here by default it is compound sort key as we mentioned in our first slide. Now we are exclusively mentioning and writing compound space sort key and the keys inside it. Interleaved sort key. As we discussed earlier interleaved sort key will sort the data on two columns. Now I have this table sales table sorted on list ID and sorted on seller ID. So in compound sort key if I have list ID 1 1 and seller ID 1 2 then my data will be sorted for list ID and then seller ID within that list ID 1 1. But whereas interleaved sort key both are independent. You will have full sorting of list ID and entire table at one place and full sorting of seller ID and entire table. Now you can easily verify what tables have the dist keys and sort keys. You have many tables created on your Redshift and maybe your colleagues or peers or whoever have worked within your project might have created the distribution styles and sort keys. If you want to check whether a table already holds a sort key or a dist key, you can type the following command select table encoded dist style and sort key one from svv table info where table name is equal to your corresponding table name and order by one will sort the data on your first column which is table in a similar way now if you want to analyze what compression technique you need to give to your corresponding key then you can check what is a suitable one. Redshift will help you in doing that. If your table is already loaded with data, you can simply type analyze compression table name and the column name. Then Redshift will suggest you what distribution style is useful to for this particular column. And you have one more command. Select column type encoding dist style and sort key. You can see the encoding type by using this command. As we discussed earlier, our data in Redshift is stored in blocks. Redshift block size is typically 1 MB of size. Now if I have my table and if I need to see how many blocks did my column in a Redshift table occupied, I can use this command. Select column max of block number from STV block list and join with stv table perm and you will get it.
and here. You can run this table to see the size of your table and suppose if you are doing any deletes and adding any inserts to a table so your sort key is disturbed now. If I have a table with keys 1, 2, 3, 4 and I am deleting the row 3 and inserting the one more row 5 at the bottom or maybe 8 at the bottom and then followed by a lower number 7 then my data is scattered again. It is not sorted and an empty space is being created when I removed 3. So to make Redshift adjust that and do defragmentation on that and reorder the sort keys you need to run vacuum on table by using the command vacuum table name. This will help us to vacuum the table and defragment the tables and keep your data size very less and improves the performance. We recommend to run a vacuum command on all the tables regularly wherever you are going to delete or insert records. Thank you.